everyone, this is Neha and I am an intern at MRC Information Technologies and for the internship, we are doing a project presentation on the topic Microwave Oven Simulation. In this presentation, we are going to see about the topics learned during the internship, about interfacing and lastly the project demo. On the topics learned during internship, first we saw about the C programming. C programming is a general purpose language, even though it is applied and used effectively in various specific domains, it is a free formatted language. That is, it is a strongly typed language. We have also seen keywords and typical C code contents. A C programming has a format of, first it contains documentation, then pre-processed statements, global declaration, the main code and lastly consists of one of many functions. Next, we, are, we have also seen about the data representation. A number is generally represented as decimal, octal, hexadecimal, binary. Literally, computer only understands two states. They are high and low, that is making computers as binary system. These states are coded as one or zero and these 1 and 0 are called as binary digits. Next, we saw about the conditional construct. It has two types, a single and multi-iteration. The conditional construct consists of if, switch case, for, while, and do while. Next, we saw about the operators. Symbols that instructs the compiler to perform specific arithmetic or logical operations on apps. This is known as operators. All C operators do two things. They are operates on its operands and returns a value. Next, we saw about arrays. An array is a collection of data of same data types. And then pointers. To have C as a low level language being a high level language, is the pointers are used, returning more than one value from a function. Then functions. In a programming language, it can something which performs a specific service. Strings. Contagious sequence of characters easily stores ASCII and its extension. Next, we saw about the microcontroller. Microcontroller is an integrated circuit which is capable of being programmed to perform specific tasks. All components in single chip. Less flexible, less design complexity. Things that are to be noted while choosing a microcontroller are its application, microcontroller's performance and its prices, availability of the tool and special capabilities. And this is the pin diagram of the microcontroller and uh, example microcontroller 8051. Microprocessor. A microprocessor is a computer processor where the data processing logic and control is included on a single integrated circuit or a small number of integrated circuits. The microprocessor contains arithmetic logic and control circuitry required to perform the functions of a computer set central processing unit. The microprocessor consists of ALU and that is arithmetic logic unit, control unit, register array in, in which uh, this is actually the pro block diagrams. Next, we saw about the embedded system. An embedded system is a microprocessor or microcontroller based system of hardware and software designed to perform dedicated functions within a larger mechanical or electrical systems. Based on performance and functional requirements, it is divided into four types. They are real-time embedded system, standalone embedded system, network embedded system, and mobile embedded system. Next, we saw about the installation of software and LED. The software we have in installed for our internships are MapLab in the IDE, PiximLab, XC8 compiler. Next, LED interfacing, simplest device using most of the embedded applications as feedback, works just like diode. LED basic program demo. Basic LED program toggling, LED is connected to port B, PICI 16 F877A, build hex file in MPLAB ID software, then in Pixel Lab software, load the hex file in 
boot pick Genesis boot microcontroller pick 16f877 and CLC that is character liquid crystal display we all know it as LCD it has two types of display they are 16 degree 2 and 16 degree 4 used to display all ASCII character and symbol it has totally 16 interfacing here D0 to D7 are data lines it has built-in controller it has own room and RAM that controller can execute the instructions and data RS line that is register select line RS value is 1 for data RS value is 0 for instruction lines this is a LCD data processing in CLCD. Data proceeded by two methods, delay method and pull method. In pull D7 method, we want to continuously monitor D7. In data lines, we have providing data. RW for one that is, means read, in RW0 means write. In RW pin, that is read or write pin, is permanently grounded, that means only write and data. In CLCD, D0 to D7 are connected to port D and RS and enable pins are connected to port E. 8 bits mean D0 to D7 for 4 bit as D4 to D7. Enable pin act as indicator by uprising LCD about the inception of data transmission by the microcontroller. Next please can see about the tactile switches. In matrix keyboard, we have to configure rows as outputs and columns as input. In designing pull down interfaces, R1 is 10 times greater than R2, that is, R1 is greater than R2. Triggering methods we have different triggering methods like edge trigger and level and trigger. Next, we can see about the bouncing effect. There is a metal plate and terminal. So, previous pulse detection while pressing or releasing the tactile switch is called bouncing effect. Next, we can see about the interfaces. A pull-up resistor is used to make the default state of the digital pin as high or to a logic level. And a pull-down resistor does exactly opposite. It makes the default state of the digital pin as low, that is 0 volts. This, uh, this is the representation of pull-up resistor and pull-down resistor. Matrix keypad. 4 into 4 matrix keypad are commonly used to keypad in embedded applications. Such keypads are seen in telephones and other commonly seen applications. This is a matrix keypad with pin names. The advantage of matrix keypad is that the use of it will allow the program to reduce the number of pins to be used. Tactile keyboard. A key switch is tactile if it has a bump in its response to finger pressure at or near the engagement point where the key press registers and before the key bottoms out at the end of its travel. A keyboard is tactile if it is made with tactile key switches. Next, let's see about the timers. The timer is an important application in embedded system. It maintains the timing of an operation in sync with a system clock or an external clock. The timer has so many applications such as measure time generating delays. They can also be used for generating baud rates. The timer has three modes like PWM or pulse generator, counter and PW or PP measurements. Now let us see about the project demo. Add the source code and code used to implement the project. Now let's go higher and build this project. The build is successful and the loading is completed. Let me navigate to the Pixel Lab now. And this is a Pixel Lab. So select the file and load hex. And now let's go to the microwave oven that is our project and navigate to the MP Lab X projects, microwave oven X, and to default. And our project microwave. This is the project we are doing now. This is the microcontroller. Before dumping the code, we need to select the board as Big Genius and the microcontroller as pic 16 f 8 a Since I have already dumped my code on this, it is already displaying, but let me show how to load hex file on this. This is my hex file, powering on and micro modes. Let me reset it. 
powering on microwave oven and these are the cooking modes let me select option 1 this is the micro mode and the power display let me enter certain cooking time say 5 seconds if I want to clear this 5 second data I need to press the star key so the data is cleared now I press 5 seconds and I press enter you can see the adjacent fan is running you also have the time as we heard a beep buzzer sound that shows the cooking time was up the second option is a grill option let me give three sec let me give five seconds let me press enter I can pause this by pressing the key number 5 as we can see the fan has stopped running and the time has also stopped. I can resume it by pressing key number 4. That was the grill mode. Let me go to the key number 3 that is the convection mode. In this we are going to get temperature setting display I have coded it in such a way that if I give temperature more than 230 degree Celsius then it will show me an error for example let me put 300 degree Celsius as my temperature and press enter key it showed me the output as invalid temperature because I have coded it so so for instance let me take the temperature to be 120 degree Celsius and let me, let me press enter. So it is taking the preheating time of 180 seconds that is 3 minutes. So after this 3 minutes is done this fan will stop working and the cooking time will be up. So let me reset it for you. So we are done with the convection mode and if we want to see the start mode it is of 30 seconds. So from this 30 seconds if I want to start it again if I press key number 4 30 more seconds will be added to the timer. As you can see it is 45 now. I press enter key and it is 1 minute and 12 seconds. I can pause this at any time and I can resume the same at any time if not I can entirely stop the process and get back to my cooking modes so that is the end of project presentation and project demo so uh, I would like to thank MNC information technologies for giving me this opportunity in the internship and I would like to conclude here thank you